Hello everyone. Let us continue with the questions on speed time graph. Question number three. The graph shows how the speed of a car changes with time. What is the initial speed of the car? Observe the graph at time zero. The speed is 10 km per hour, right? So this is the initial speed. What is the maximum speed attained by the car? Now till three seconds, the car accelerates uniformly and increases its velocity from 10 km per hour to 35 km per hour, right? And then it moves with constant speed. That means zero acceleration. And then it retards non-uniformly. So what is the maximum speed attained by the car? It is 35 km per hour. Which part of the graph shows zero acceleration? I just told you BC part, there is constant speed. So acceleration will be zero. Which part of the graph shows varying retardation? CD part. Find the distance traveled in first eight hours. We have discussed distance is found by the area under the graph. Now till first eight seconds, that means you have to find out this area. Now pause the video and do it yourself. Now first find the area of this trapezium and then find the area of the rectangle and then add. Area of trapezium is half into sum of parallel sides into height. These are the two parallel sides, 10 plus 35 into height. Height is this 3 and you will get 67.5 kilometer. Find out the area of the rectangle. Length is 35 and the breadth is 8 minus 3, 5. So 35 into 5, 175 kilometer and total area is 242.5 kilometer. So this is the distance traveled in first eight hours. Now question 4. The driver of a train A travels at a speed of 54 km per hour, applies brakes and retards the train uniformly. The train stops in 5 seconds. Another train B is traveling on the parallel with a speed of 36 km per hour. Its driver applies the brakes and the train retards uniformly and stops in 10 seconds. Plot speed time graphs of both the trains on the same axis. Okay, speed time graph for uniform retardation is like this sloping downwards this is velocity this is time here right on the x-axis we plot velocity or speed now 54 kilometer per hour first converted into meter per second because time is given in seconds initial velocity is 54 kilometer per hour multiply by 5 by 18 you will get 15 meter per second velocity final velocity is zero because it is coming to rest it applies brakes and the train comes to rest so v is zero time taken is five seconds right for train b initial speed is 36 kilometer per hour equal to 10 meter per second final velocity is zero and time taken is 10 seconds now think about it how will you draw the graph you know it's uniform retardation so see, for train A, the initial speed is 15, right? At time zero, the speed of the train is 15 meter per second and it retards uniformly. That means straight line sloping downwards and the velocity becomes zero at time five seconds. Is this clear? At time zero, the train A is moving with 15 meter per second speed. Then it retards uniformly and at time 5 seconds, the speed becomes 0. Similarly, for train B, at time 0, it is moving with 10 meter per second. Then it retards uniformly, therefore straight line. And at 10 seconds, the velocity becomes 0. Clear? The next part is, which of the trains traveled farther after the brakes were applied? So find out the distance traveled by the trains. And distance is found by area under the graph. Find out the area for train A. This is a right triangle. Area of right triangle is half into base into height. So half into base is 5 and height is 15. You will get 37.5 meter. Find out distance traveled by train B. Base is 10 and height is also 10. So half into 10 into 10, it's 50 meter. So which train traveled farther? Train B. Question number 5. Which graph represents the case of a cricket ball thrown vertically upwards and returning to the hands of the thrower? Now see, when you will throw a ball upwards, its speed will decrease. Why? Because earth is attracting it towards itself. No? Force of gravitation is acting on it. So when you 
बॉल को ऊपर थ्रो करेंगे द स्पीड ऑफ द बॉल इज डिक्रीजिंग यूनिफॉर्मली यूनिफॉर्म रेट आर डेशन हो रहा है एंड वेन इट रीच इज द टॉप पॉइंट हाइएस्ट पॉइंट इट स्टॉप फॉर अ मोमेंट और फिर वो नीचे आ जाता है वेन इट कम्स डाउन द स्पीड इंक्रीजेस बाय बिकॉज अर्थ इज अट्रैक्टिंग इट टू वर्ड इट सेल्फ सो वेन इट गोज अप यूनिफॉर्म रिटार फिर थोड़ा सा स्टॉप करता है थोड़ी सी देर के लिए एंड देन इट कम्स बैक विद यूनिफॉर्म एक्सिलेशन सो विच क्राफ्ट इज रेप्रेजेंटिंग दिस मोशन सी ओके यूनिफॉर्म रिटार्डेशन वेन इट गोज अप एट हाइएस्ट पॉइंट स्पीड बिकम जीरो एंड देन स्पीड इंक्रीजेज वेन इट कम्स बैक टू वर्ड्स द ग्राउंड क्लियर सो सेकेंड पार्ट ट्रॉली डी एक्सिलोरेटिंग टू अ कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड एंड देन एक्सिलोरेटिंग यूनिफॉर्मली पहले डी एक्सिलोरेशन हो रहा है मतलब स्लोपिंग डाउनवर्ड्स फिर कॉन्स्टेंट स्पीड है एंड देन एक्सिलोरेटिंग यूनिफॉर्मली सो फर्स्ट पार्ट 